May the Lord God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone, where you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. We are reading in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, from verse 1 to verse 12. Then we're going to read in the book of 1 John, chapter 2. Let us read for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, the word manifested, the spoken word. Amen. Now, God has offered us the promise that we may receive that we may receive that rest he spoke about let us take care then that none of you will be found you will be found to have failed to receive uh, yes yes let me repeat it let us take care then that none of you will be found to have failed to receive that promised rest. Amen. For we have heard the good news just as they did. They heard the message, but it did them no good because when they heard it, they did not accept it with faith. Amen. We who believe them do receive that rest which God promised. It is just as he said, I was angry and made a solemn, solemn promise. Amen. They will never enter the land where I would have given them rest. He said this even throughout his work had been finished from the time he created the world. Amen. From somewhere in the scripture, this is said about the seventh day. God rest on the seventh days from all his work. This same matter is spoken of again. They will never enter that hand where I would have given them rest. Those who first heard the good news did not receive that rest because they did not believe. They are then other who are allowed to receive it. This is shown by the fact that God set another day which is called today. Amen. Many years later, he spoke of it throughout David in the scripture already quoted. If you hear God's voice today, do not stubborn. Do not stubborn. If Joshua had given the people the rest that God had promised, God would not have spoken later about another day as it is. However, they still remain for God's people a rest like God resting on that rest which God promised will rest from his own work just as God rested from his let us then do our best to receive that rest so that no one of us will fail as they did because of their lack of faith. The word of God is alive and active. Amen. Sharper than any double edged word sword. If Amen, it's sorry, it's cut all the way throughout 
to wear soul and spirit, meat to wear joints and marrow, come together, it judge the desire and throw out of men's heart. Mm. It's terrible, yeah? Praise be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us read quickly here in the book of Genesis chapter 2 from verse 1. And so the whole universe was completed by the seventh day God finished what he had been doing and stopped working. He blessed the seventh day and set it apart as a special day because by that day he had completed his creation and stopped working and that it that is how the universe was created amen hallelujah that's the verse i wanted to read for you this morning before we read the book of 1 John, second chapter. We're going to read it after. Yeah, may the Lord God bless his holy scriptures. We just come to read for the glory of his kingdom. We are looking because we need to found that kingdom in us as we are alive. That's why we see the scripture tells us in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, is the apostle Paul begs us not to do the things as our father, our brothers, our beloved, last times they did. They listened to the voice of God, the hand of Moses, the servant of God, the prophet of God, came to them. It was not a small prophet who was doing the job in the, in the assembly. No, it was a great prophet because there is a difference with the Give the, with the great prophet who came with that said the Lord with the prophet who is working in the, in the assembly. It means that there is a different, that one have a gift, a given like the gift of speaking tongue, the gift of healing, all of those things. But having that a minister in, in a person, God sent, those ones they came only one in the generation or in the ages. To understand God sent them. And those ones, when they came with that, said the Lord, when you doubt, you reject his name, it means you reject yourself. It means you prefer to be killed yourself. You prefer to be loosed. You prefer to be in dark. You prefer to be uh, dead, but you are alive. Do you understand? Because you reject that, said the Lord, came from the man God sent to you. That's why he gave to us that example in the book we just came to read of Hebrews. Those people of Israel, God took them regarding his own promise he gave to Abraham after 400 years. Sorry, you see it. Abraham, they will suffer in another area, which is they will treat them as slaves, but me. The Lord God, I will come, Elohim, El Shaddai, I will come to deliver them, to took them away from that slavery. And God fulfilled his promise correctly because God never failed. God is not a human being to say something then to do something else. If you see the promise of God is not fulfilled regarding the prayer we are praying because we are still not honest inside of us. When you go, you confess, you repent. You see, God will answer you because that is the only way to communicate to you, to the Lord God, by the repentance. That the things we have to do every, each time of, each day of our life until we will return back home. Because it's the only thing that will help you to be in touch, to be in communication. To get to take position in his perfect will, it means his word. But if you reject that position of going to confess and repent yourself, I mean, say yourself in you, if you just leave that spirit in you, that's reminding you every time. I don't think so, every one of us can deny that. We have it. 
The Spirit of God is coming to us to tell us, look at these things you want to do is not correct. You have to abandon it. Look at that you are doing. You have to stop it because it will take your soul, your spirit, and your life. Do you understand? Three of them, if it disappears, how we will survive? Because this life we are living here, the Bible says if it ends up, we have another body that's been prepared. That body, how you can prepare it? You prepare that body when, by the word you are listening, when you take position in Christ, what you are listening, it means you are building something somewhere. Because this body, we, we feed it with KFC, we feed it with pap, spinach, we feed it with fishes. All of those food, we go to food lovers. Do you understand? We go to pick and pay uh, checkers. We bought food and we came, we cook it, or we go to buy our fast food. We eat it. Do you understand? To what? To feed this body, to have energy. To us, to do movement, to go to work, to do all of those, to survive. Right? If, we, if I can say it like this. But our soul needs food to remain alive, to be in good condition, to be prepared when this felt so you can get that you will be in that body with strong with the energy because that body needs spiritual energy. The spiritual energy of this body is differently with the spirit, the energy you receive from the food. Do you understand? The energy you receive from the food is stopped in this body and in the following days you go in the secret place, it winds down. You flush water, disappear. But this soul, yourself, because this one is not the real you, because the real you cannot die. That is the, the real you cannot die. The real you must be alive. So you need something which will remain you alive, to keep you alive, which is no something else, no, no one helps or something else. It's only God's word. Because heaven and earth have been created by this word. And the devil, when he came, he brought the wrong interpretation of this word to took the eternal life from a man and a woman. And the fell, the death took place because he, he did understand perfectly and correctly the promise God did give in the book of Genesis chapter 2, we just come to read here. The Lord said to them, you can eat everything if you can read from verse 15 to verse 17. You will see the commandment of the Lord. But this one don't touch, you die. And when the serpent, devil dwell in the serpent, came to them, tells to Eve that, oh, listen to that, Oh, this is the door. It's the door of your soul. This here, this sense is a big door. When you went, because all the spiritual power you have, all the spiritual energy builds you and keeps you strong, protect you, is from this brain. You see? And that energy spiritual that's power it remain in the word of god when you reject the word of god maybe you can go somewhere from devil to find it but that you'll find it will need sacrifice every time you have to sacrifice something to understand when you sacrifice these things that things to keeps you with the energy of the sacrifice you give others the sacrifice people others sacrifice Pregnancy, others are sacrificed different money, different things, their sacrifices. Like, uh, I don't want to, 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 what I can say, to say the name of the place somewhere in Africa. The people was looking for the diamond. And some of the, uh, the people, who, who, what I can say, they are calling them the soba. Those old uh, Papa was there as the sober. They was telling to the people, you give your finger. If you give one finger, you have a diamond. You give two, you have a big or two you diamond. So you become rich. It means when you give that, you sell something. Harvest today, you know, they are coming. Uh, 
I have many things to say that, you see. They are passing between uh, men to men, women to women. Maybe just saying it like this, I think you will understand. You see? So, is the sacrifice for you to get popularity, for you to do this, for you to do this, for you to keep that energy, to, to be able to control others. You see? From those sacrifices the people are giving, when you give that, it means you sell something from your soul. By this sacrifice you did. But those who when they came humbly, you see, in the presence of the Lord, they say, Lord, I know I did do this. I did do this. I was like this. I keep being this such, such life. Lord, forgive me. Even those one, I forget, Lord, I came just to say to you, please, forgive me. I want to fix my life. I want to fix such, such things. I don't want to give you condition. I know you know all my problems, all my situation. Lord, none things are hidden in your holy eyes. Because if you created heaven and earth, Lord, and you come, you pay the price to save us, it means you know everything before the hands. But I came firstly to give you that you need my heart. Because I want to save my soul and my life. From there, with the good spirit that pushed to you to on the presence of the Lord, you see, as the sacrifice is there, the blood of Jesus Christ, that is not being every time sacrificed. It. You have to go to renew, you see, so you will keep that condition. And that the day you fell somewhere, they took your own life. To that extent, your own life gone. Your own life will gone. Completely, and you lose even yourself, your soul will be in trouble here in the German place. There, there is no mercy, here, there is no grace. You see, you see, in the hell, there is no mercy, there, there is no grace, there, there is no compassion, there, there is no love, there is no forgiveness, there, there is trouble because is it the hell? That's the destination of someone who reject God, who reject the blood of Jesus Christ, who reject the message of the end time. And the place it will be reached is this place. And there, I repeat it again, there is no grace. There is no mercy. There is no compassion. There is no love. You understand? There is nothing of understanding that it can brought to you a pattern. You understand? It's only in God. And the sacrifice being given to us once at the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ is the blood of God because it's not the blood of a human being someone born between men and human no. by the virtue of spirits God put the seed inside of a woman who was uh, sanctified by the word of God didn't know a man that woman was uh, only perfect virgin Virgin, you see, from her, God put the seed of life himself and the bone as Emmanuel, as the scripture says to us, Emmanuel is God among us. He came as a son of God, as God, as a prophet, as, you see, with all the names in him. So, when that's why I said, truly, truly, I said to you, believe in me, believe in God, believe in me. Because me and my father, we are one. Which things make them one is the spoken word. God did spoken in the beginning. That word made flesh once again. As made flesh once again, the time we are living. It needs to be, to be, to, to be uh, uh, made flesh again in you and me. As it was Jesus Christ himself, a living word of God. But when you reject it. Oh, you want to mix him with this one you need to have to, to, to keep that influence, to keep doing that you are doing. And if you have him on the left side, him you don't want to be on the left side and you put the devil on the right. No. You see, if you reject the darkness on your right, you, or you don't want also on the left, you put, took all the both ends for him, you lift it up like this. And you pray, 
God will answer you. He'll come soon and dwell in you. Regarding in the book of John, chapter 14, from verse 15 until verse 23. You see, we read it last time. We will read it again next Sunday because the scripture, we have to read it because it's life. You see? So you don't need to provide again another sacrifice to the sober. You see, to that God, God is doing the miracle so you can keep the spiritual energy to do such that thing, popularity, this, this thing, to control, to dominion, to have riches, all of those things to keep your position in the government or in the work where you are working, all of those things. You have to go somewhere so you can get this or that. No, everything is here because heaven and earth if been created by the word of God, it means God himself and you been created. You came from this word. You reject this word. It means you prefer the death because death came with liars. You see, but if you prefer the truth, if you are honest, God will come and give you what you want. Because like last week, uh, my beloved sister, Mama Mindy, God bless you, and God bless you. We congratulated you for uh, you just finished by UNISA, and it was so wonderful to see someone celebrating. I didn't see the picture of someone had us putting in the status celebrating something. It means the focus on studying and the reach that level of master or this this and they receive their diploma. So from that diploma, they go, you go with it by your needs and you pray to say, Lord, I thank you for this paper I received once again in my life. I consecrated to you so I will find what I need for me to improve again. It means you don't need to go somewhere to get something to support that diploma because when you was studying it was with that God gave to you this brain. You see, the devil never gives something. All the things you 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 have, you see, all the things you 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 have in your position came from God. So the liar came to you, say, if you did this, I will give you this. And the whole the people, more, this world, you can say, even more than seventy percent, they prefer to go there. They reject the Creator Himself. And always, you must provide a sacrifice. On this side, you don't need to provide because the sacrifice, it was once, as the Apostle Peter said in the book of, uh, uh, I think, Second Peter, chapter 2, Christ died once for the sin of all. We just read it here. So, in the time them they are living, if we return there, why God rejected them to get his rest? is because they didn't obey. It's the same things that are happening today. Regarding in the book of Luke 17, from verse 20 to 30, the promise of end time, the Lord said that this time we are living, it will be like the time of Somor, Somor and Gomorrah. You see, it's the time we are living, in the time like in the time of prophet Mo. No, the Lord gave those two examples. Remember what happened. In the time of Noah, the people were so intelligent. And the word suggests in the science, the level, the deep reach, they said, no, there is no rain will come there. They sent their things there to investigate all of those things. They come back, they say, Noah, you become a old man. The things you are saying is not there. There is no water there, nothing. You see, there is something wrong. And those ones, they did Psychology, you see, like uh, we did, all of those things we did, uh, what, I, what I can say, uh, the philosophy, and they come, they examine him, they send some doctors, they say, he said, no, I don't need your doctors. That I'm saying came from Lord God and is true. It's truth. Ah, really? Okay, we'll see. They go, they're gone. After that, the rain came. The scripture, the, the word of God being fulfilled is the same thing the Lord gave the promise in the time of living. It will be like the time of no. It doesn't mean the rain it will come. No. That has been promised for the time we are living, reading the book of Second Peter, chapter 2. You will find it there. 
But you have to prepare yourself to get your rest now. How you get your rest? The blood is still there. It doesn't lose its power. You see, the power of the blood of Jesus Christ never fell to will not be loosed to those who want to believe and they stand with the scripture of the time you are living. Regarding the book of John 14, Luke 17, from 20 to 30, Revelation chapter 5, Revelation chapter 10, you see, because Revelation chapter 5, fulfill chapter 10, we receive the revelation of seven seal, revelation of church ages. All those things being revealed in the message of end time. So when you take position on it, the sacrifice is to only one and once as God. Being created during six days and the seventh day, God rest as we read in the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse, verse 1 to verse 2. God rest to hold his work and sanctify the seventh day. And we see the Jews, the people of Israel, till today, they keep doing these things as the commandment of Moses gave to them. They keep doing, they keep standing in that rule. They prepare the seventh day from the sixth day, it means Friday, regarding in the calendar of Roman calendar that we are using. But then they're not in that calendar. They are in the right calendar, the prophecy, uh, prophecy calendar that we're supposed to notice as it's in the Portuguese language. It means uh, 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 Monday is the second day. You see, the first day is the Sunday, and the seventh day is Saturday. You see, Saturday is the day they are going to consecrate it, they sanctify that day. But they are doing it every week. It means every month it can be four, 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 four times or five times. But with Christ, if with God, when he finishes it, we get the rest once. And that rest is the baptism of Holy Spirit. So Holy Ghost is the assurance, the real assurance you're supposed to get is the proper medical head you never have is this one. Is the comfort, is the rest. Because that's why he gave the promise of John 14. In one time, the world will not recognize me because they didn't see me. Those ones, they see me now as I came in. Emmanuel, they are the one they will recognize me because I will not come in this body again. This body, I came with it as a lamb of God to pay the price of your sin. That is understand? But when I shall come, I shall not come again with this body. I will took the body of the prophet as I was taking. You see, on the whole testament, I came as a Moses, I came as Elijah, I came as a uh, prophet Isaiah, I came as prophet Jeremiah, I came prophet Ezekiel, I, he came as prophet, prophet, prophet. When it, it was, it was like we can say, uh, 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 the shadow the shadow of him in the Old Testament because the sun rose in, uh, by east and went to rest in east on the sun uh, uh, the sunset a sunrise the sunrise and sunset you see but when we arrive at 12 the sun is in the middle all our shadows get inside of ourselves is the same things when the lord jesus christ himself the son you see he came you see and 12 the time he came it was from 11 to 12 when he came the shadow of him all the prophet was tells us was prophets that i've seen saying talking about the big prophet he get inside of him because there was not says about themselves but it was about him the coming of the lord you see, when the Lord came for his first coming, the shadow came inside of him. So when the sun gone to the sunset, the shadow has appeared this side of east. The when it was this side of the sunrise, the shadow was in the, the this side of sunset, you see, in the west. You see. So this side to reflect his bride, the church we are. The church of Jesus Christ, we have to manifest it to him. So that he sent the prophet, started by Paul, 
the prophet of God, apostle was a Paul because the word of God can be written only by the prophets. The book of prophet Amos, chapter six, verse uh, chapter three, verse six to eight. You see, so if you read the, what the scripture says, you'll see the first one came and read as uh, write as the, the the New Testament is Paul regarding what the scripture says and when paul came others they came after paul until prophet brother brown came with the message of end time and we see the scripture fulfilled in his ministry and when the scripture fulfilled in his time we say this is scripture being fulfilled as the lord jesus christ when he came in his first coming he getting inside of the temple and the minister of the, uh, the, the the service, the master of the service took the, the book, gave to him, and the Lord opened in the book of uh, Prophet Isaiah chapter 61. When you read, he said, he read, chapter, he read verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, he said, this is scripture you just come to read, to listen, is fulfilled. It's written in the book of Luke chapter 4. If you read it, you'll see what I'm saying. And he went, he said, and he start healing the people, doing one, two, three, all the miracles, preaching the word of God, regarding on what the prophet was saying before his coming. It means the shadow came inside the scripture for fulfilled. And in the bride of Jesus Christ today, as a real church of God, who they are the member in the mystical body of Jesus Christ, you see, we have to manifest this the same things as a shadow over him on the sunrise. Do you understand? Going by west, do you understand? And the shadow must be presented by east. You see? And we're going to reflect what? Something helps not his life because we are surviving by his blood, the one sacrifice of Lamb of God. Not, to, not every time like Jews was Sanctify this every week, but as it once, because Christ died and rose once, and the life was inside of his blood, came to us. When we confess, we repent, we take position in him, he came and he dwelt in us. Us and him, we become one. You see, the bride and himself jesus christ as a husband we are like his wife do you understand so you don't need to go there to sacrifice some every time though for you to keep that position to the, that spiritual energy for you to remain like this to keep that something but after death your soul to really found it here because all the things he was receiving, it was coming here from that soba, as we call it in our language, soba. Do you understand what I'm telling about soba? You know already. You see? But in Christ, when you passed away directly, you will reach it in the rest. Because you get that rest here as we read in the book of Hebrews chapter 4. You see? The Lord needs to you to receive that rest. Don't disobey as then they did in the time of Moses. And the example the Lord gave on the time the people disobeyed, what happened to them? The time of Gomorrah, Sodom. You see, in the time of Prophet Moab, that's the example the Lord gave in the time we are living. The people are reaching, they disobey. They cannot get the rest of God because God himself rests and when we pass the seventh day. The eighth day is to return to eternity. You see? But before you return to eternity, you must get rest. As the Lord God himself get rest on what being formed for this world. It means you need to take position right now because it's not late for you as Hebrew chapter 4 says. If it becomes late, it means yourself, you made it late, and you lose completely because your soul is getting an edge, that spiritual energy from God's word. That powerful energy, no one can take it away from you or 
came and destroyed it because all the creatures, all the other creatures, even Satan himself is a creature. The only one, it, 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 I can say, it's been created. Do you understand? All we've been created. It's only God who did not be created. He's a creator. Who created heaven and earth. When you believe in him, you stand with him. It means the power of hell cannot took your energy. They cannot use your energy. You understand? They cannot optimize you. Why? Because in your brain, in your five sense, it's dominated by the super sense, which is the faith. You build the foundation of your life in Christ with the faith. And that faith came from where? Came from the living God word that created heaven and earth. That is that when you stand on this living God created heaven and earth, that it will build you this foundation. And that foundation, it will brought for you the virtue, knowledge, all of those things is in this pyramid of God until you receive the rest, you rest here. Do you understand? After this seventh stage, you see, you'll reach this level, is the high level, then you get the rest on the rest of the things of this world. Do you understand? Someone will ask the question about, you will see, you will receive the Holy Ghost. Awesome. It means we become holy. Yes, you become holy because the blood will sanctify you is the holy blood of Christ. It does, it doesn't have nothing regarding your, your, it doesn't have nothing regarding your, what I can say, what you committed. The first things, it, it's up to you to take position, to believe and stand on it. You see that the condition. You see, that's why Apostle Peter said we must start by the repentance. You see, when we repent, that's the condition of Acts chapter 2, verse 38, 39. And we will receive the gift of Holy Ghost that the rest, the seventh day, God rests. Once, not like the Jews, every Saturday they have to go and they sanctify, they started from Friday. You see. But then, God is not treating with us the same with them. When them, God was treating with them as we did, we, we've been there unbeliever. So when they reject Christ, the grace came to us. And the grace returned to them already. You see them, they confess Jesus Christ as the Savior and Lord. But you, you still with the things of churches in you. When they ask you the question, are you a Christian born again in the word of God, in the kingdom of God? No. Uh, my spiritual father is such a person and uh, my church is this, this one. That is not the answer. You born, you get to rest already. You see? Let us read something here for us to finish, for us to know we need to get this rest. The Lord promised to us because he himself rest after doing those things you are seeing here and you need you don't need to sacrifice every time because Christ paid the price, the price for you is the only sacrifice God uh, admitted I great you see being received from father and the blood, the blood that fell down the, the life it was inside of that blood came out and we return it again and come out, come true to us. And that love is the holy life because the seed that made Jesus Christ, created again, say Jesus Christ, I must say not again. The, 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 the seed that created Jesus Christ in the virgin, holy woman, it was God Himself. You see? And that life is the eternal life that the Lord needs you to receive and the rest. So when your time shall come, you'll find your soul full of energy and that energy is the spiritual energy you cannot lose and no one cannot fight. Is the 
Holy Spirit, God himself, is the living word of God. All the creatures, they are under that word. They cannot dominion over you because of you have that possession, which is his God himself, the scripture. So when they came to accuse you, they say, you do this, you do that, but you are saying you are Christian. Don't leave it to make you fail, to make you weak. No, stand Believe, go, confess, repent, pray, continue your march with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us read this and we'll finish. That is the entrance the Lord gave to us in 1 John chapter 2, chapter. We start from verse 1. I'm writing this to you, my children, so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have someone who pleads with the Father on our behalf, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. And Christ himself is the means by which, is, by which our sins are forgiven. Amen. And not our sin only, but also the sin of everyone. Did you hear that? Praise be the name of the Lord. Verse 3. If we obey God's commands, then we are sure that we know Him. Do you understand what we can just to say now to you? Amen. If someone says that he knows Him, but does not obey His commands, such person is a liar. And there is not is no truth in him that the devil did and most of us we are doing the same you see let's continue but whoever obey his word he is the one whose loves for god has really been made perfect and that love is the holy spirit in you the rest amen hallelujah Let's continue. That, uh, amen. This is how we can be sure that we are in union with God. Whoever says that he remain in union with God should love just as Jesus Christ did. We can continue to read, but because of the, to give you time to repeat it again, to understand exactly what you want to say, and then by the help of the uh, Holy Spirit, I know you will understand it more again, you see. But for us to stop here today, we we'll continue it next Sunday. It's very important for you to get your rest right now. Amen. And to have that spiritual energy that will keep you standing in all temptation, in all moments of stress, distress, all of those things, the time of the pressure, God will never fail with these scriptures. It's up to you to stand and to go on your knees, talk to Him, you'll find a way. You know, our whole of us is passing in a very difficult time, as I'm standing telling you here, but the Lord will never forgive, forget His promise made, He gave to us, you see. As he said, we shall see. I shall. The Lord is not a human being. He's a creator. He created heaven and earth. Our life is in the hand, in his hand. If we give our spirit, our soul, our life to him, he's able to forgive us and to guide us. And we'll have the power of him because he gave his own life once for you. May the Lord God bless you every blessed Sunday, everyone. Let's pray one another. Pray for the kids. Keep them safe. They are so the angel of God. Don't leave them to anything. You see, God will judge you and will condemn you. May the peace of the Lord be to everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.